Hello, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to simulate Spider-Man web uh, in Blender. Uh, I'll be using Blender 3.1, I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Uh, to simulate this, but I think it will work in uh, every Blender over 2.8. But it, if you have 2.8 right now, you should really upgrade because there's like you know geometry nodes and stuff. It's better. Uh, so today I'll be teaching you how to create spider web, something uh, like this, like I showed you yeah, this, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, we'll be using cloth sim because it it gives us uh, the ability to stretch it. Uh, you can do that with soft body too, but I haven't experimented with soft body so much yet. So we'll be using cloth because that works. Uh, this model I'm using, I made it myself. Uh, I will put it up for sale if anyone wants it. Uh, but you you can of course uh, use a uh, another model that you made or bought from somewhere else. But if you want this model, it will be up for sale uh, somewhere. I don't really know yet, but it will be up, so you can buy it. Uh, so you can support me. Uh, so this model, it's just uh, extruded vertices. Uh, vertexes uh, then uh, with a screw modifier to give it uh, actual geometry then a solidify modifier uh, to thicken it evenly uh, uh, yeah so if you also but it works if you have an like actual geometry too uh, because this is only ver vertexes but it's because it's faster you know uh, but you'll be able to buy this if you want it uh, so you can follow along the tutorial uh, so let's begin simulating but not yet not yet not yet uh, first of all we need to pin some vertexes or faces or whatever uh, model you're using uh, so select uh, every vertex on uh, where you want it to connect to example a wall or somewhere else uh, then click ctrl h to hook it to a new object and it gives us this empty that we can control we can control later then go to the last vertex over here uh, Click that, go down to vertex. Oh, I already have groups here. Uh, remove them. Public data properties. Make a new group, assign it. Uh, now it knows that it that we're gonna keep these vertices uh, at the same place. And we want to give this vertex a empty two. So deselect these uh, vertexes and only select that to give us two uh, empties that we can uh, control but as you can see it only controls those uh, vertices because we pinned them uh, which is good uh, we haven't started simulating yet so that's why so I'm going to make this web uh, shoot to this ball as you saw in the video in, begin in the beginning so uh, snapping uh, GX and boom oh I forgot no 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 we need to add a keyframe here first and maybe five frames later ten ah uh, five let's mm, let's, let's go ten it's gonna be a slow web I don't really know yet then set that to linear because you, we want we don't want it to slow it that slow down at the end. We want it to go in a straight speed or a linear speed. Yeah. So now that we have this, we can start simulating cloth. So go into the simulation tab. What is it called? Physics properties. Cloth. Quarter steps up to. 10 linear and then the stiffness uh, which this means 
uh, set that to 50 because 15 is, uh, 15 is too low it's gonna bounce everywhere uh, and we don't want it we want some stiffness in uh, the web so it doesn't freak out go down to shape uh, enable this group we pinned earlier and we should be good to go uh, let's just see if it's working I'm sorry if my computer is a little bit slow but yeah it doesn't only stretch one vertex it brings all the other vertices along so now we're ready to bake and this is basically the simulation it's uh, pretty uh, simple but if you want uh, the wall to interact with the web, add a collision uh, modifier to the wall. And you don't really need to change anything, this is my settings, because uh, it worked for me. But it depends on your scene. Uh, let's go down to uh, cache and bake all dynamics. So we're back, it finished baking, and turned out pretty great in my opinion. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, if you want some tips on the, uh, the texturing too, I'll give you that. Uh, forgot to turn off the lights. Oh, wrong side. Here we are. So. The, the the texturing is pretty si simple. It's procedural too, so you don't need any image textures uh, or anything like that. So it's a gray color with a common one uh, subsurface uh, with a green color. Um. And uh, specular high, anisotropy high, roughness low because we wanted to reflect light a lot because uh, that's how web reacts to light. And sheen full. I'm just cranking up uh, sliders. And the uh, noise texture here. Uh, input it to the alpha. So we get some uneven stuff here, as you can see, which looks pretty dope in my opinion. Uh, I hope this tutorial helped you with uh, creating web simulations in Blender. Uh, I know it's pretty simple, and of course you can also control the uh, second empty. Find it. I'm gonna go back to here. You can of course control this too and put it on your on your like web shooter or your Spider-Man model if he's swing, swinging between buildings. Uh, so yeah, I hope this tutorial helped you. And of course, uh, you can get this model uh, online. I won't be selling it. Uh, and I hope uh, you like the tutorial. Please support me by buying this model. It will be very much appreciated, and it would uh, help me create even more uh, simulation tutorials and other Spider-Man-related stuff. So I hope uh, you liked it. Uh, goodbye.